All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over Boyle's Law. So the basic idea behind Boyle's Law, and indeed behind all gas laws, is that we have four basic properties uh, of gases. And those are the pressure, P, the volume, V, the temperature, T, and the amount, N, in moles of the gas. So with Boyle's Law, what we're trying to figure out is if I were to hold the temperature of the gas and the amount of the gas constant, if those two, if those two things are constant, then how do the pressure and the volume uh, depend on one another? What is, the, what is the relationship between the pressure and the volume if the temperature and the gas, the, the temperature and the amount are kept constant? And the answer is that they are inversely proportional to one another. So that means that at constant temperature and if the amount is constant, uh, as one increases, the other decreases. So if I were to increase the pressure of a gas, then the volume would decrease. If I were to increase the volume of the gas, then the pressure uh, would decrease. So let's, uh, let's quantify this in terms of equations and see if we can uh, derive a couple of, maybe a couple of special equations that we can use. So we're trying to say, we're trying to set up an equation uh, for Boyle's Law. So remember that at constant temperature and amount, uh, pressure and volume are inversely related. So I'm going to write that in this, uh, in this way. So I'm going to say that the pressure is uh, proportional to, that's what this sign means, it's pretty poorly drawn, but this is supposed to mean pressure is proportional to the inverse of volume, so 1 over the volume. But I don't really like this proportional sign. I'd rather have a real equation. So the way that we get rid of this and turn this into an equal sign is to just say that the pressure, P, is equal to some constant of proportionality that we'll call K times 1 over V. So we no longer have a proportional symbol. We now have an equal sign. And we now have this constant of proportionality. So these two uh, equations are basically saying the same thing. We can rearrange this uh, equation further by multiplying both sides by V, and we'll end up getting that the PV, P times V, is equal to K. And this is a pretty important uh, result, because that means we can now, we're now in a position where we can, uh, we can talk about the state of a gas at uh, two different conditions. So, if I have uh, two different conditions, so suppose I have the gas in, in an initial state and a final state. So, if I have the gas in a state, we'll call that uh, P1 and V1. If I have a, the state of a gas in which it's at initial pressure and initial volume, if I multiply those together, then I'll get P2 times V2 which is the pressure and volume of another state of the same gas, which is just going to be equal to the same constant, K. Remember, this all assumes that the temperature and the amount of the gas are kept constant. That's very important. For these equations to be valid, those two conditions have to be met. So this two-point form of the Boyle's Law equation is, is helpful because it can be used to solve uh, it can be used to solve problems. Any three of these things, P1, V1, P2, or V2, if we know any three of those, then we can solve for the unknown. So let's go through a, uh, let's go through a problem. So suppose I have a gas. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that the initial of pressure of this gas is 5 atmospheres. And suppose the volume of the gas when it's at 5 atmospheres is 100 liters. Now suppose I took this gas and I compressed it down from 1 liters or 100 liters to 50 liters. So I decreased the volume to 50 liters. Well, if that's the case, what would my pressure be uh, upon changing uh, upon uh, compressing it like that? So what is in other words, what is my P2? That is what I'm trying to figure out. Well, all you have to do is just use your two-point form of the equation. You can say P1, V1 equals P2, V2, which is just equal to some constant. 
we're looking for P2, so I'm going to divide uh, the whole equation by V2, and I'm going to get that P2 is equal to P1 times V1 over V2. And P1 is 5 atmospheres, and V1 is 100 liters, and uh, V2 is 50 liters. And the liters cancel here, and we're left with nothing but atmospheres, the unit of pressure, which is good. So 5 times 100 divided by 50, um, that looks to me like that's going to be 10 atmospheres. So, in other words, if I have a pressure, a pressure of 5 atmospheres, and 100 uh, and a volume of 100 liters. If I were to de decrease that volume down to 50 liters, then uh, the the new pressure of the gas would would be would double, would uh, increase to 10 atmospheres. So it, they are inversely proportional. So this this equation sort of makes sense. So remember, uh, like I said, this only applies if the temperature and the amount of the gas are kept constant. This this these equations only work when those two conditions are met. So there you go, I hope this helps.